men are eating steak and potatoes as society collapses. So things are going not so good. Inflation is rampant. You know, the U.S. dollar has lost the status as the reserve currency of the world. There's currently two astronauts trapped in the International Space Station. They cannot get them back to Earth. There's a woman trapped in space, you know, stranded in space right now, and no one seems to care. And she's being, they're, they're just getting gaslit by NASA while this United States is worrying about other things. I mean, things are not looking so good right now. And yet men don't care. You see, men are taking the path of least resistance. It's a big fat leave us alone. We're just chilling and walking away, focusing on ourselves, self-preservation and self-care. Men are truly in their soft guy era, while women are now entering into their broke girl era. I said that we were going to see the great V collapse of 2020. And you know what happened in 2020? Things did not turn out that way because everything was not open for business as usual. But now things are, you know, getting returning to normal and we are right on our way to the great V collapse, where basically you're going to see a lot of destitution and poverty and men are not going to come and rescue anyone. Women are going to have to figure it out for themselves. Okay. You guys, do you know a lot of homeless people eat dog food? Yes, they do. A lot of homeless people eat dog food and women are going to basically have to understand that when you are homeless and you know, you do what you have to do and you eat what you eat, what you have. You know, I've seen a lot of homeless men eat dog food and, you know, they are chefs at this stuff. So, you know, women, women, they're big, they're, they're strong, they're powerful. They don't need no man. They're misindependent and they're going to have to figure it out in the streets. You know, this, these are the, cho- these are the consequences. If you see what's happening right now, they're, they're, they're passing a, a new law that will automatically register both men and women for the draft because, you know, Gen Z men are so so terror so bad at this point they're all dodging signing up for the draft that and so many of them cannot even register because can't even register for the military because you know they are uh, they're unfit 77% of them and now they have to b- begin uh you know registering women it's it's crazy we have a video from smoking and grilling with AB and we're going to check this video out he is going to show us how to grill and smoke smoke up the perfect tomahawk steak i'm going to link his channel in the description oh this is going to be juicy i told you where the manosphere is actually headed the manosphere is headed towards cooking videos you know videos about money society economics different whatever men are essentially interested in all right it's beginning to evolve beyond women and women are going to fade into the background i said that you know it started off with the problem phase men are problem solvers now we're in the solution phase, as you see in men walking away, soft guy era. And and things are basically just, and, and men are basically redirecting their focus on other things. We will soon be in the solution. We will soon be in the conclusion phase, right? The solution phase right now. We'll soon be in the conclusion phase where men are basically done with that. And now they're focusing on other things that interest them. All right? And it's going to be things like this men watching cooking videos men discussing money and economics predominantly shifting focus heavily away from women i mean you're going to the manosphere is going to expand so rapidly it will be insane and there's such a large flow of information and knowledge Ay, wow anyway let's go ahead and jump right into the video you know what time of the year it is it's time to break them you know your grill out your smoker whatever you have to cook outdoors now's the time and guess what we finna kick it off with a tomahawk steak let's get it okay folks so look i want you guys to come down here and take a look at this beauty right this is a nice tomahawk you know what i mean uh what i'm gonna tell you is right now i don't want you guys to like jump back and be like oh my goodness you know what i mean this dude put a lot of salt on there listen it's gonna take some salt right because we need to pull some moisture out so I'm going to put it on here like that. And you're going to see when we see it again, you're going to see it's going to be nice and moist on the top. You know what I mean? That's where it pulls it out. And it depends on how long that I let it stay on here. Then what it'll do is it'll kind of like dry out. But we right now we want to pull some of this moisture out, right? So I just hit it like this. Please don't jump back and say, like, man, that's a lot of salt. When you're dealing with a piece of meat this big, you must have it. And I got it. This right here is going to fall off. But 
We're getting ready to put salt everywhere on here. Now I noticed I didn't put no binder on it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But on this one right here, this is for all my beginners. I'm gonna show you just how to get down and what makes this, you know, so so good, right? We go out and spend all that money for these tomahawks. You know what I mean? We can make these at home. And a lot of people are scared to make them because of the amount of money that it takes to, you know, to purchase them. Okay, so now you see what it looks like, right? We got a nice, you know, a lot of salt on here, so it'll pull it out. Now, we got two options. I could leave, do it like this and put it in my refrigerator, uncover it, and let it stay overnight, or I can let it go for about two or three to up to four hours, you know, just outside in the in the elements. And when I say outside, I mean, it doesn't have to be in the refrigerator. Just take it, put it in your, uh, in your kitchen, you know what I mean, and just let it, let the salt do its thing. Now, the key to making these, it depends on how you like them. Some people like them rare, medium rare, you know what I mean? You like a medium, and then I don't want to talk about nothing past that because uh, medium well, it would be the furthest I can go. I can't do well done, right? But you got to have a meat thermometer, right? And because I'm going to be using my rec tech, you know, behind me, you guys get a chance to see, like when you get yourself something nice like that, it comes with these probes, it attempt and do everything for you. I'm going to give you what I'm going to do for this right here. I'm going to go four hours, right? So I'm going to see you guys in four hours. I'm going to just, like I said, put it in my kitchen, set it off to the side and let the salt do its thing. Okay, so look, it's been about about four hours, right? We didn't went ahead. I want you guys to come around, take a look at that. And that's what it looked like. See, it's starting to crack up. It could have kind of like dried up a little bit of the moisture. And if I pull back right here, look at my, my board. See how it pulls it up? And it, you know, you can see some of the moisture to come out of there. It just pulls up right here. These are what you call juice rings. These are great to have when you get a cutting board, folks. Catch all the juice, especially when I let it rest. Now, what I want to show you is, I've already patted it dry, right? On the bottom side, that's where a little bit of the moisture is too. We're gonna pat that dry. Now my dual, my Rectech dual fire, look, it's got two zones, right? You got this one, and then you have this one over here. This make it great for me, because when I'm doing something low and slow, I can do it over here, and then when I have something like I need to sear or anything like that, I use this chamber. Now, I've already got this set. You guys don't see none of that smoke pillowing out of here like that, because that'd be that dirty smoke, right? Right now, it's got that little wave to it, just that clean smoke. This is what we're looking for. Right, so when I open this up, I'ma set this in the inside. We already at 500 degrees. What we're gonna do is we just wanna sear it and get it going, folks. For my temperature, and I'ma run a little higher than normal. I got it set at 325 degrees, right? So I'ma go ahead and grab my tomahawk and bring it and put it in just like that. Now, with my dual fly, fire rec tech grill, check this out. It has this little hole right here. This is my meat probe. Right? So we can get this like this, bring this around, won't let no heat out, and it keeps it kind of cool, right? Now, I'm getting ready to put this in here like this, put it in here, and I want you guys to tell me what temperature do you think that it should be? I'm gonna go ahead and go right there in the center of it and leave it like that. I want this to be 130 degrees before I take it off, right? So we got it in here, just like you see. Now I'm gonna give it a close. Then we can read what it is in the inside. Right now it's saying it's 96 degrees in the middle, right? You see it? I'm gonna take this off when it gets to 130. It's like just having, uh, you know, two smokers, two pellet grills. Now, I'm gonna take this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh, speaking of that, look at my meat slicer. You guys, listen, I sold a lot of these, but listen, I got a lot more of these. You guys gotta get yourself one of these. This is spring. We got that big meat, them heavier meats to do. So get yourself one of these. Listen, you, can, you two can, cut like a pro right so i ain't want to cut it and get all of that over there but you see that right there mm. that right there if you got an animal you know what i'm saying you got a dog he needs something to chew on
So, guys, we got to watch that. That was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is the future of the manosphere. This is the future of men walking away and letting the world, you know, go to hell as we focus on our passions, our happiness, and the things, you know, basically we have full bellies, full bellies, and we're, we're good. As I said, the average man could live happily in a shoebox at the side of the road. You know, a lot of y'all are still gaming on Ataris and Commodore 64s because you don't really give a damn. I've already said it, like, I'd be happy with a Super NES. And the thing is, like, I could just emulate all of that right now. So I can get myself a nice emulator, bot, like an old, like a nice PC, PC or whatever, one of these emulation units that has tons of games on it. And I could just play all of those games happily for the rest of my life, for the rest of my damn life. You know, go back to so, to all those classic Final Fantasies that I missed out on Super NES. This is really where it's going. You're like these these societies, they're basically trying to control men, but then at the same time demanding men come back and serve society. A society without its men is not a society. A society without its men is a wasteland. If you guys haven't noticed, more and more police officers are leaving, leaving the job, walking away from policing. So here's the thing. Without these men, with even because you know, these are agents of the state, but as even even as fewer and fewer people take the jobs to be agents of the state, the state gets weaker and weaker and weaker. Because if it doesn't have people to do its bidding, who does it have? Machines? AI? Drones? Because think about it very carefully. What you literally end up is end up with is basically prison co prison colonies. Like Australia is, a, Australia is still a prison colony. Someone pointed it out. Now they have a minister of changing men's behavior in Australia. His job is to change men's behavior, you know, control what men are seeing on the internet, control men's speech, control men's thoughts, and get them to behave themselves and have good relationships with women. Literally, that's a part of it. Get them to behave and have good relationships with women. So they need to brainwash men and boys and then make them submit to women. And have good relationships, so they will continue. So they will sub, they will subsidize the state and women. Yeah, like this is the reality, guys. It's over. All right. Most men, if presented with this, they'll just basically sit there and say, "Yeah, no, thank you. I'm not doing anything." Okay. No one is going to pay to be a slave. That's the reality we are in right now. They want us to pay for our own incarceration. That's that's where we're at, and we don't even get free, we don't even get three free, uh, three free hots. Of, we don't even get the three hots at a cot. All right, we don't even get the three hots at a cot. It's a it's a living nightmare that we are in right now. But women did this to themselves, and men are just chilling. Men are eating steak and potatoes, watching a society goes downhill. And you listen to me, you know if you know women can spend time with the man that they love, the man of the hour, little Bancho. All right, little Banjito, go and stop, Banjo. Get down, Banjo. Look how happy he is. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. You know he's adorable. Stop, be, stop being a baby. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. You know Pancho is so adorable. He's so cute. You know, and charismatic. That's why they love him so much. You can learn a lot from Little Pancho. All of you can learn a lot from Little Pancho, you know? Because he is a ladies' man. That's why he has so many children with so many different ladies. Guys, this is the reality we are in right now, where men are walking away, and they're not cleaning up the mess of Chad, Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, Enrique, Miguel, or Little Pancho anymore, especially Little Pancho, because they love Little Pancho. They love Little Pancho. You know, he's very much like Gen Z. He loves to sleep and fart. Guys, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, you want even more of this content, consider checking out the Men Walking Away, Walking Away channel where I release daily videos. There's a link to the Men Walking Away channel description in the video. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the content. What do you think regarding all of this? Men are eating steak and potatoes as society collapses. Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it in the, co we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.